O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us read together Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people, from this time forth and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. A reading from the book of Genesis chapter 4 17 through 26. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. When he built a city, he called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Arad, and Arad fathered Mehuyel, and Mehuyel fathered Methushel, and Methushel fathered Lamech. And Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other Zillah. Adah bore Jabal, he was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal, he was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. Zillah also bore Tubal Cain, he was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Adah and Zillah, Hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, listen to what I say, I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth, for she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time people began to call upon the name of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cain, condemned to being a wanderer, refuses the lot that God has assigned to him and settles down in the world in a comfortable manner. He builds a city for himself and his descendants and each one finds an occupation of his own choice. But social progress does not rectify human nature. The race of Cain resembles its head. The violent and provocative nature of history's first murderer is reproduced in his descendant, Lamech. This picture gives us a foretaste of the present-day world which put Jesus, the true Abel, to death. Everything continues as though nothing had happened, as though the cross had never taken place. Everything is organized so that life on earth is as pleasant as possible. Nothing is lacking there, science, art, industry and even religion. Only Jesus is absent. But parallel with Cain's dynasty, another race makes a quiet appearance at the end of the chapter. Seth takes the place of Abel, and this is when men begin to call on the name of the Lord. The life of the righteous man put to death endures figuratively in the line of faith, showing us how Christ, the second man, can count on an appointed family, bearing his name and living in the fear of God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As our Savior Christ has taught us we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms, grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved, for your tender mercies sake. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. With all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
For all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our president, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and community, and for those who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us, and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel on land, on water, in the air or through outer space, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, and for the sick and the suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may end our lives in faith and hope, without suffering and without reproach, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Defend us, deliver us, and in thy compassion protect us, O Lord, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. In the communion of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, and one another, and all our life, to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord our God. Hasten, O Father, the coming of thy kingdom, and grant that we thy servants, who now live by faith, may with joy behold thy Son at his coming in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.